This is an iPhone 6S backlight repair with my new JB Sweet, JBC Nano Tweezers. I got the NS, NASE 1B with the, um, what is this, the, let's see, NP105B Steady Nano Tweezers. But I don't have the, really the tips for it yet, so I'm going to have to kind of do a makeshift tip thing majigger here. And, uh, kind of go from there, alright? Well, I'm really liking it so far, but, uh, I haven't really used it, so. It's getting really sick of my hock hocko, hey, my hackos. Because the tip switch is stop aligning. Okay, so here we go here. Uh, I've already verified that the backlight is, uh, I mean, I can see the Apple logo, so... It's probably just a backlight filter, which, you know, if it's a 6S, it's almost always just a backlight filter. And it's almost always this puppy right here. You can see it's already blistered where you see it. Yeah, it's popped. So, so let's go to work. All right, I like putting little capped on tape on it, so I'm gonna burn the connectors because you don't you damage these connectors. You're gonna spend another uh, hour <laughs> fixing the connector because these connectors suck. So just uh, tape as much plastic as you can. All right. Uh, okay, that's good to go. So what I normally do is, so here's my cool tweezers here, and the tips aren't really lining up right now. So let me see if I can fix that. You got a little adjustment thing on it where you can kind of just turn it and it just realigns. See what I'm saying? Okay. So these tips aren't even the right tips. They're two two different tips. So one's bigger than another one. Uh, I have some on order. I got this puppy uh, on eBay. For about uh, 900. All right. So let me grab this mother. Pretty sure it's toast. I'm not gonna check it. And uh, then let me clean this puppy up right here. So, 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 you know, just make some space here. All right, that's good enough. Um, and then I like to clean it up with some IPA. Get rid of all the crappy uh, black stuff. And then let's tin the pad. So just put a little bit amount of uh, leaded solder on it, and you really just want to get a little bead of solder on both pads if you can. That's pretty much it right there. That's it. I think there's some black junk on it, so I'm gonna have to kind of take at it a little bit so I can get the black junk off before I put the new. Otherwise, it's not gonna stick very well. I probably should have cleaned it up just a little bit better. Okay. All right, so that's pretty much good. Well, let me put, let me get a little more solder on that side. You know what, let's let's do it all over. Let's do the IPA again and then Alright. Put a little 
flux on it. And then let's uh, get a little what solder on it. Do I even have any solder on the end of my thing? Okay. All right, so that's pretty good. Uh, let's get my filter out. A 6S backlight filter. There it is. Uh, I need another pair of tweezers here. I think I'm definitely going to need some more flux. So uh, I put a little more flux on here. I just put it on the edge here, and then it'll just kind of melt onto it. So otherwise, the thing's going to move. So that's really it. Uh, and then I don't really even need any more solder, so because there's going to be enough down there. So I'm going to see if I can just kind of hold it. See, the tips are a little bit off again. Pisses me off a little bit. I don't know if it moves when I, like, push it down or something or what. Anyways. Alright, so there we go. There we go. That's enough. Uh, and let's go to town. Nice. Oh yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's a little bit loose. Alright, that's really tight now, so. Alright. I'm going to try to preserve these tips, so I'm going to tin them every time I put it back into the holder. Clean that up a little bit. If you want, you can check with a multimeter, make sure there's no shorts. I like to do that just as a backup because you don't want things blowing up. And this is a very simple thing. So this goes to here. Let me check the other side. And then this goes to here and this other side. And this should not beep. And this should not beep. That should not beep. That should not beep. Okay, we're good. Let me just dry it up a little bit. And I think we're good. All right, I think we're good here. So I'm going to reassemble it and uh, pause it. All right, that worked. Uh, you'll have to take my word for it. And that is that.